Now, as the war in Ukraine grinds on, the number of amputees coming back from the battlefields is soaring. 15,000 men and women lost limbs in the first half of this year alone. That's according to official figures released by the country's Ministry of Health. The government won't reveal how many are soldiers, but the vast majority are likely to be military. That means that Ukraine has seen more amputees in six months than Britain did in all six years of World War II, when 12,000 UK servicemen and women lost arms or legs. Well, let's speak now to uh, Orla Gurin, who joins us uh, from Kiev. I hope, uh, Orla, you are with us. Ah, oh, there you are. Um, great to see you there. Um, so, Orla, what more can you tell us about this? Well, I think this is an aspect of the war that has received very little attention until now. But we know that day after day and night after night, there are more amputees coming from the front lines, from the battlefields, uh, particularly from the east and south of the country. Now, Ukraine has been carpeted in landmines by the invading Russian forces. It's now described by the UK mine clearance charity, the Halo Trust, as the most heavily mined country in the world and there hasn't been this concentration of landmines in any part of Europe since World War II. So the scale is absolutely enormous and as Ukraine tries to push forward with its counter-offensive, its troops are battling against these landmines and in many cases falling victim to them. Now the numbers are a very hard thing to pin down because the government here treats information about deaths and injuries among the military as a military secret. So all we have is the figures from the Department of Health. But they do say that in the first six months of this year alone, 15,000 Ukrainians have lost limbs. Now that is a staggering number. Uh, we have met some of those and some coming back from the battlefield now have not lost only one limb. In some cases it's two, in some cases it's even three. And we have interviewed one veteran who lost both arms, both eyes and his hearing. So these are very complex cases that will require a lot of care and support over the longer term while Ukraine is still fighting a war. It's a new battle, and a tough one. Every day, Andriy Smolensky tries to regain his strength and improve his balance. Tries to reclaim some of what the war took away. He's still a fighter. In uniform, his call sign was Apostle due to his strong faith. Andri led a reconnaissance team until an explosion in late May. I remember how I uh, started climbing uh, a little bit out of the trench. And uh, the next memory is I just waking up in the hospital. It felt like I just were dreaming. Everything was so dark, I thought, oh, what a dark night. And what a weird dream. Andre lost both eyes, both hands, and most of his hearing. By his side, through it all, Alina. My wife is incredible. She's my hero, 100%. Um, she with me. She supported me a lot. I felt like I have my family, and uh, my family is strong in hard times. And these were the good times in the Carpathian Mountains. The couple married four years ago this month and are bound together now more than ever. In the last uh, three, three months, I started to even love him more because <laughs> uh, he uh, gave me so much motivation too, so much inspiration. He's still my uh, motivation for, for everything. He's not the kind of person that uh, would be just uh, sitting uh, on his uh, uh, bed. No, he will try to uh, change, the, change the world. <laughs> 
Andri and Alina want to help the many amputees who may follow. Their ranks are soaring. The couple want to show there is life after life-changing injuries. I know before the war, Andre, you, you loved singing. Do you miss that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. It's just part of my soul, part of my childhood, you know? So uh, now when I lost my hands and I cannot play my guitar anymore, it felt mm, kind of sad, but I had my voice. And he's hoping his voice will get stronger so he can sing again as he did before war came to Ukraine and changed his life beyond recognition. Four months and 20 operations later, Andri says the hardest thing is not his injuries, but that he wasn't able to finish what he started and free his country. So all of just watching that does make you wonder how Ukraine is going to cope. Can it cope? I think it's going to be a huge challenge for the country, and that's what we're hearing, not just from doctors, but also from specialists involved in rehabilitation. On the one hand, there are the physical needs of these amputees, and bear in mind, many of them are young men and young women who will need care over the longer term. There's also the trauma that many will bring back from the front line. Now, there is support available here in the country to military veterans. The, country, the government provides a lot of medical care, rehabilitation, pensions, compensation and so on. But people have been talking to us about the fact that this will be an issue of integration, of allowing people to feel part of Ukrainian society again. And one woman involved in rehabilitation said to us, we need a new definition of beauty and bravery in Ukraine. We need to be able to appreciate the fact that people have lost their limbs fighting for our freedom. And she said, this is our new normal. We have to get used to it, but it will take years. Okay, Orla Guerin, thank you very much.